All right, and then welcome back to my Let's Play of Shining Force 2. Here on my channel, Idol Wisdom. We're here again in the town of Grand Seal. Grand Seal. Grand Seal. Last episode, we, you know, saw, a, what was it, that cutscene about, you know, the, the thief slayed still in the Jewel of Light and Evil. And we saw the king get attacked by that weird shadowy dude. And then the next day, we met our protagonist, Bowie, this kid here. And he and his friends, who were students at Sir Astral the Wizard's school, got sucked into the events surrounding the ancient tower, which was opened mysteriously, and trying to help the king who had been, you know, possessed or damaged or attacked by that weird shadowy dude creature at night. Anyways, they went into the ancient tower, and there were some evil spirits, which Sir Astral called an evil gizmo, because, you know, I don't know, because he's a jackass. <laughs> and so, Bowie and company dispatched most of them, but one of them got through, possessed the king, Sir Astral defeated it, and exorcised the gizmo from the king. The, the spirit flew off, and Sir Astral passed out. But then, the king sent, so the minister sent soldiers to go destroy the gizmo, but now... Apparently, Sir Astral's come to and said that we need to study the history of Grand's Island. And in order to do so most efficiently, we need to find a historian or a scholar named Howell, who lives on the other side of the island. So, since the army's away, the tiny army that there is, Bowie and his friends are been sent to go retrieve this historian. Hang it all! Where have all the fish gone? My boss is really upset. Oh, wow. Meow! I'm so sorry, I have no fish for you today. I don't know why, but we have no haul. Uh-oh. Bowie looked into the barrel. It was empty. No fish. It was empty, too. It's strange. The sea is so calm. I have never seen such a quiet sea before. I think that's actually a bad sign. When the sea is that quiet, bet you the sea's gonna back up a bunch too. Hey you! This ship's for fishermen only. Get out of here, you loose silly kid. Silly kid, huh? Oh, wow. <laughs> Man, nothing. They really did get nothing. A quick chicken. Now the quick chicken is like, I don't remember what it was in the previous game, but it's an item that raises, you know, one character's, you know, agility. Pretty good little item. Yeah. Good for a character who is strong but who misses a lot. Nope, that's it. Alright. Anything down here? Nope. Oh, a medical herb. Now, see? It's been passed all the way down the line to Chester. Since Sarah's hands are full now, too. Pretty cool. Anything over here? <laughs> I played this game a fair number of times when I was little, and it's funny, I can still remember coming in this stupid ship and searching all the barrels. Alright, well, let's go back to town. Do be Watch out! Don't loiter around in here! Ever! Wow, you're grouchy. Sorry, my husband's angry. He didn't catch any fish today. Oh, well, you know. Dark inside, pal. Bok, bok, bagok. Bok, 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 bagok. 
Oh, there's another dwarf. Sniff, sniff. Have you seen or smelt any sulfur? I'm an inventor. I'm looking for some sulfur. Oh, no. Ah. Don't listen to what that fortune teller says. She's a liar. Oh, wow. I mean, all fortune tellers are liars, but why this one in particular? Hear what I have to say. I can see the ruins in my crystal. The war. Grand Seal will fall in the war. Believe me. Wow. What a nut. Oh, wow. It's full of... Like, beastmen or something. Welcome! We have very novel animals from the mainland. You don't want a pet? I'll lower my prices for you. He looks so sad. I feel sorry for him. Me! <laughs> so hungry. Hungry! Um. Release me! Get me out of here or I shall eat you up! Oh, wow. I don't think these are animals, pal. The human caught me when I was taking a walk in Parmesia. I... I think those are... <laughs> are these... Sailors, like... Like kidnappers and slavers? Are, are we the bad guys? <laughs> um... <laughs> Sure. That's the church. You heard about it? The king was sick. Yes, I heard about it. Soldiers of the castle were talking about it. It must be true. Wow, the soldiers have lots of discipline. I envy you. You saw the beautiful Princess Elise. Yep, she is super beautiful too. Oh man, if only you saw her. Strangers from the mainland open the pet shop. I don't think it's right to hold animals captive. Oh, they're from the mainland. They're strangers. So we're... No, we're not the bad guys. Phew. I thought we were the baddies. I knew your father very well. He was a great leader. Bowie, you have to study hard and be a fine man like him. Ah, great. He thinks of you as his grandson. Sometimes he may annoy you, but that's because he's senile and gets into everyone's business. I mean, he loves you. Oh, apparently Bowie's father was quite the dude. The castle guard said the king chose you to lead a mission? Bowie, my dear, I didn't know you were old enough to work for the king. Good luck, Bowie. Your father would have been proud of you. All right. She's like, dang, we're, we're screwed. <laughs> They're taking... Letting Bowie lead missions? Jeez. Why don't you stop by before setting out on your journey? Alrighty. What's up, boy? We guarantee all items to be in good condition. What do you want to buy? Yeah. Alright, thanks. Come again. What's up, boy? Short sword. Short spear. Short axe, wooden rod, and a short knife. <clears throat> Let's look what we have. I think we have wooden sticks and what have you. Wooden sword, wooden rod, and wooden stick. Hmm. Alright, we'll do that. But in just a second, we'll buy some stuff. Here you are. I've been waiting. It's Jaha. A soldier said you went into the castle. Is that true? Oh, I missed it. I would have woken up early if I knew that. So I came here to meet you, Bowie. You're going to yield, right? Under the king's orders? Cool. Of course, I'm going too. Jaha. The not quite as cool version of Luke has joined the force. He's a, he's all right. Let's go. Alrighty. But now that Jaha's here, we can... See, he has an actual weapon. So let's give him one of these medical herbs. And let's give... 
Bowie, Medical Herb, Jaha. Now, let's talk to this dude. What's up, boy? Let's get a short sword. Yes. Yes, suits you. Let's get a short sphere. Ah, uh, you see, we can see the the amount of upgrades and defense and attack here in the the, sh the shopping menu. Way better. Way, way, way better. Pretty cool. So, give us him three more attack. Yes. Nothing. Let's sell. Sell the wooden stick. Chester's like, <laughs> goodbye, wooden stick. Yep. I put away my wooden sword and take up the, the iron blade. Well, I wonder if, do you think their weapons are made out of iron or steel? Hmm, I wonder. Alright, let's go. Alright. Cha cha. Give. Let's have her give the quick chicken. To Chester. Give. This medical herb. To Sarah. Alright, cool. Now. Let's talk to the guard. That gallon messenger rushed out of town. He looked pale. Yeah, he got... He probably was scared by the... The gizmo? Maybe? I don't know. All oh, right. Uh-oh. Looks like there's a number of... Nasty critters... In between... What does it call it? Grand Seal and Yeal, which is right over here. So we can look at our map for a bit. There's Grand Seal right here. There's the ancient tower. I always thought Grand Seal looked pretty cool on this map. It's quite the fortification. They have a nice sheltered harbor that goes out to the ocean, we'll learn. There's a, a water break to defend against naval attack. That's so cool. Man, dude. Really cool. It's pretty well defended. I I, I guess, anyways. I would th say. This is pretty good music, I I think. Anyways, let's get back to it. Oh, let's look at our enemies. We have rats and slimes. Oh, a huge rat? Nope. Okay, hold on. Ten hit point, twelve attack, eight defense, seven agility, six move, you know. Pretty decent for this point in the game. Ooze. Nothing too amazing, but not anything to take for granted at this point. We're not much to write home about either, mind you. Let's attack this. Yes. Now he can shoot or throw his weapon makes him more useful. Good job, Chester. Ow. Oh yeah, look at the scenery. Pretty cool. Let's actually, no. Right here. What if Bowie attacked this one? This ooze. Oh, look at his sword. He has a new sword. It's pretty cool. <laughs> He's two-handing a short sword. It's kind of interesting, right? Actually, Sarah. Hmm. Why don't you just go right here?
Kill the ooze. Chester, go. Alright. I like the scenery here. It's pretty nice. Ah, oh, 49 experience points. Good job. So much for you. Oh, dang, bust it. Dude, look at that thing. Yeah. Um, Sarah? No, kill this one. Go, Bowie, go. Oh yeah, woo-ha! <laughs> is defeated. So much for you. Man, that rat hit her hard. Oh, that's right, she hasn't even gained a level. Hmm. We need to get her a level. Alright, rat. You're gonna meet the business end of Jaha's axe. Whap! <laughs> not bad, not bad. He's level one as well, though. Go, Chester. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I love those dodge animations. What a wily cr critter. Oh, it really wants to rip her face off. Oh, jeez, it hit her even harder. Let's try to get rid of this thing. Or maybe I'll just attack. Over here. We'll let Jaha get rid of that rat. Good job, Bowie. Level three. Hit points increased by two, magic points by one, attack by two, defense by two, agility by something or other. Oh, okay, phew, I thought for a second that it was gonna get Sarah. Oh, jeez. Okay, Sarah, you do the healer a bit and heal Chester. Selflessly. Altruism! Woohoo, yeah! Altruism! Hope it didn't get her killed. Good job, 18 points. Alright, rat. You've had it. Oh, yeah! Huge rat was defeated. Shaha gained quite a bit of experience. Chester's attack. Oozes um, pinned to the ground. Yeah, I guess it wasn't so oozy that maybe he got its nucleus. He got a level. Not a bad level. Let's heal Sarah. All right, I'll heal that. 15 points, oh man, indeed. Let's actually take a look at what is her... Oh wow, one more heal. We need to get Jaha level as well. Just stay right there. Ugh, they're playing cautious as we are. Let's just stay right here. Come on. Oh, there we go. Knew we could bait you out. <laughs> we baited the rat. Oh, jeez. Ow. Let's see a Bowie. Medical herb. Very good. 11 experience points. She gained a level. Hit points up. Magic points up by 2. Attack by 1. Defense by 1. Agility by 1. Alright. Not bad. Not great. Not bad. Ow. 
Not that bad of a hit, really. Two points, big deal. Huge rat, you're going down. Oh yeah! That's a nasty looking axe. I have to say. Alright. I would kill the rat, but I'm not sure if it would end the encounter. Huge rat attacks. Ow! <laughs> Let's see again. But yeah, getting that magic, those magic points, she now can cast heal another full time, which is good. Ow. Let's just kill off this ooze. Oh yeah! Good job, Jaha. Jaha became level 2. Hit points by 1, attack by 1, defense by 1, agility by 1. Eh, fair. Not bad. Not great. Yeah, go. Eh. Let's just wait. Let's let... Give to Sarah. We'll just let Jaha kill this rat. Ow! <laughs> Here, I mean, they could have healed her, healed Bowie or whatever. But it's. She gets more experience points from using healing herbs than they do. Although I think they get like a little bit in this game, as opposed to the last game. Jaws attack! Huge rat is toast! Alrighty. Excellent. Alrighty. So now that that's done, we can look around and see there's all sorts of places to go. You remember how the last game... Here's another big difference between the two games. Shining Force 1 and 2. The last game was divided up in the chapters, the story was. This game is not. This game is a little bit more open world. Oh, here's another town. Is that Gallum? Yes, it is. We cannot get in. That's weird. I wonder why they're draw bridges up. It's a pretty cool castle over there. I like Grand Seal better, but you know, whatever, it's still cool. There's Yield. Now if you just walk around, you can re-trigger the enemies. Let's see if we can go down here. And let's not. Let's not be stupid. I kind of want to be stupid. Let's look. No, let's not be stupid. We'll go to you. Welcome to you. Please rob my house. <laughs> All right, we will. <sighs> this village is peaceful, but boring. I'm tired of living in such a rustic, small village. I want something exciting to happen. That's my hen! Don't torment her! Bok, 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 scratch. cock a doo doo, -doo. Young people nowadays don't know the value of peace. War is not fun, but they think it is. There are no soldiers, no rules, and no noise here. I don't understand those who want to leave this town. <laughs> Damn millennials. May I help you? Oh, hi, kids. Howell? 
Yeah, I know him. He's famous and he's kind of a screwball. He lives northwest of this village. You can't miss it. Um, sure, thanks. But we investigated an old piano. Are you from Gallum too? No? Oh, many Gallum soldiers asked me where Howell lives. Howell, Howell, Howell. Why is he so important? He's just an old man. Old people aren't valuable, okay? Don't you guys know this? Jeez. I once traveled to Gallum and saw Mr. Lemon there. Mr. Lemon is the leader of the Gallum army, but he's a very kind man. I'm a big fan of Mr. Lemon. He's so cute. Oh boy. Oh, you came from Grand Seal. My son's working in Grand Seal. Do you know him? Um, we probably do. If you told us who he was, we might we might actually be able to say whether we do or not. Ecology. Civilizations. If people just come to understand each other, then there'd be peace. All violence is born on mis out of misunderstanding. I'm not so sure. Probably a lot of them, but not necessarily all of them. Soldiers are so cool. Hey, that's neat armor. Yep, it's spiffy keen. And keeny spiff. They're like, oh my gosh, that's so old. Want to see how? Then why don't you go with him? Who the hell is this? Ah, he's important. What can I do for you? Oh, you would you would there. <laughs> You would like to see my master? I'm studying at his house. Please, follow me. But we decided to follow Kazin. Sir Howell lives just outside this village. Literally, he just stays right outside the village and... <laughs> stalks everybody's footsteps. He's quite weird. Oh, there's a cat in the church. Meow! Alrighty. Bum, 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 bum. Welcome. Your desire will be fulfilled. I think I will save my game. May I record your adventure now? Yes. The light allows you to resume your adventure. Will you continue your adventure? Um, no. Actually, we'll be done for today. Then take a rest before you continue. And I want to say thank you for joining me for this second, well, actually third episode. <laughs> that first episode was, first two videos was really one long episode, but yes. But thank you for joining me for this episode of my Let's Play of Shining Force 2. Here on my channel, Idol Wisdom. And this is, I oh, don't know, this is such a fun game. And it's, it'll get better as it, it goes along. I think... I think this game has a pretty cool general storyline overall, and the crisis when it strikes is pretty pretty interesting. I don't know. It's a great t great game. So take care, y'all.